Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 31. Inside this video session guys, we are going to understand about single-product.php. Now if I back to browser, in the last videos, we understood all about this single-product.php template. Now inside this video, we will understand that if we want to customize this title, price, add to cart button, these attributes, description. So how can we find these templates inside WooCommerce folder as well as about description and reviews and all. So when you search about the templates, after finding templates, we already know that is how can we like override and write our content. Now if we go inside this directory, go inside WP content themes, this is our custom theme folder and inside that we will have a WooCommerce folder. Now inside this WooCommerce folder, all we had seen that the template which is used by our single product is something single product.php. Now inside this template, if we open this file, back to editor, press Ctrl B, go inside this, open up this WooCommerce folder, here we will have called a single product.php. Now inside this file, we don't actually get all idea about that is how can we customize title, about amount, about add to cart button, description and all these stuff. Now if I back to WooCommerce folder and here as we can see that, here we have a folder called single hyphen product. Now go inside this directory. Inside this directory, we will have add to cart folder, tabs folder, we will have a meta.php file, price.php, product image, here we will have rating, sort description and all these files. All these files are very meaningful to understand about customizing of each layout. Back to browser, now let's see that if we want to customize this album title. If we go here and as we know that this is the dynamic content according to product what we are getting here. Now inside this, we can see that inside this H1, we will have a class called product underscore title and here we have a class called entry hyphen title and this is the dynamic name. So if we want to find this class, Let's say that by the help of this class, if we want to add some custom classes inside this, so that we can add some more CSS. So first of all, we need to find this. As we know that this is title, so by the name of its, here we will have a file called title.php. This is quite meaningful to understand about each keyword clearly. Go inside editor, press Ctrl B, and inside this, if we go inside a folder called single product, here we will have called title.php. If I press Ctrl B again to hide this sidebar, now inside this title.php file, we can see that here we have a class called product underscore title and entry hyphen title. So is this the same class what we are seeing here? Let's add some custom classes. So what I will do, let's OWT custom theme. Now if we save this class, go here, reload this page and as we can see that we have added successfully our custom class here. So if we want to change any CSS of this title like the default provider CSS of WooCommerce, simply we can customize from this class what we have provided. Now in the next, let's say that also we want that inside this rate means inside this price we want to add some more CSS apart from this default CSS. And also before price, one more thing about this title that is by default we have H1 tag for this. Let's say that in some cases you have your own custom theme for let's say or 
WooCommerce or let's say an e-commerce website downloaded HTML. So if you want to customize all about the title of this with H1, so instead of H1, we also we can change by using this div here. So this is all our under control that is wrapper element as well as classes. If we want to add some more attributes, we can add inside this element. And as we know that inside this wrapper, we will get the dynamic value what we have the name of the product. Now next, let's see about this. How can we customize all about this price? Back again to directory, go inside this single hyphen product file and if we find about the price keyword, so here is the file called price.php. Back to editor, press ctrl B to open sidebar and inside this we can see that all about this price.php. Now inside this file as we go here that is inside this paragraph we will have a filter here and this is all about our product price class. Inside this we will have a price value inside this that is get price html now let's say that first of all we need to see that either this html of this price is a paragraph and yes it's a price here and inside this value we will have the value what we have provided inside this apply filter so what i will do so instead of this single class value if we want to add our own custom class, so simply what I will do OWT, let's say theme, price here. Now if we save this change, go here, reload this page and inside this amount section like price, as we can see that our own custom class also added inside this paragraph tag. So apart from this paragraph tag, if we want to add like div, some more attributes or before div let's say that if we want to go and wrap inside this div let's say that here we will have a div go and cut this paragraph pasting it here and also if i toggle word wrap here inside this let's say that class custom hyphen div save all these changes go and reload this page hover on this price and as we can see that here we will have our div as well as our p tag. So by the help of these wrapper elements as well as classes, we can add our own style inside this. Now if we go here, we will have here something add to cart button. Again back to directory, search about this add to cart here. We will not get any file here. Instead, we will get a folder here. Go inside this, we will have several folders, sorry several files. Now inside this folder, here we will have a file called simple.php. So before that, if I inspect this add to cart button, and as we can see that inside this add to cart button, we will have a form. Inside this form, it's class equal to cart here. And also inside this form, here we have a button which is type equal to submit, name equal to add hyphen to hyphen card. Here we will have a value attribute and this is all about the class. Now go inside editor, press ctrl B. What I will do, this is our folder add to card. Click on that and click on simple.php. Now inside this, we can see that here we will have a form class equal to cart dynamic action and here inside this we can find all about this button if i again toggle word wrap for this file so this is add to cart button now inside this this is the class what we have seen inside this code this is the name attribute now let's say that inside this class we want to add let's say custom hyphen class save this change go here reload this page and inside this as we can see that we have our custom theme class 
this is all about customizing this button and also apart from this button if we want to provide some more wrapper elements to this form we can simply declare here something like div or any of the wrapper element what we have done inside this for price section so this is quite simple to find all the related files of this single hyphen product.php page now if i back to browser in some cases let's say that you will get some issue to finding all about the files so in those cases what we will do simply if you let's say find about this description template file simply click on that and if you hover inside this d this is all about for the description and look at this class this is something woocommerce hyphen product hyphen details underscore underscore sort hyphen description so by the help of this class we can also think about that what will the name of the file so that we can easily find inside our woocommerce folder so we need to pick something keyword here so from this like class here we will have a keyword something sort description go inside this directory back to single product and if we search about something let's say sort description and here as we can see that we have a file for that so this is very very easy to find all about template files go inside this editor press ctrl b close this add to cart folder and if we search about this sort description we can see all about this class what we have seen inside source code we can add our custom wrapper element as well as custom classes here in the next let's say that all we want to find all about this meta tags it means our sku of each product and category related information again back to directory if suppose we don't have any idea about this file simply go inside this this is the div and as we know that inside this div we will have product underscore meta simply go inside this directory and from this class we picked a keyword something either product or let's say product meta or something meta keyword again back to directory search inside this firstly search about product meta we don't have any file but we have a file called meta.php so what i will do back to directory open up the file called meta.php and inside this file we can see that here we will have called product underscore meta and inside this class inside this div wrapper element we will have all the informations about sku so we can customize easily about each things inside this in the same if we want to search about this product thumbnail we can easily see about this product attributes product image as well as product thumbnails if we want to search about this description reviews and as we know that firstly these are two tabs first is for description and second is for reviews if you go here and search inside this we don't get any file of description and like reviews but here as we can see that we have a folder called tabs and as we know that these are the tabs so go inside that inside this we can find all about this description and also all about this reviews button from this here we can find all about these files right here like rating review and review meta these are the things we can find here so simply each of the file we can add our wrapper element inside each of the file as well as our custom classes now if i back to browser so after these tabs description and reviews we will have next about related product section so let's say that we don't have id any idea about this about related products go here and we can see a class here something related products which is giving the appearance of this related product section so what i will do 
if you go and search about let's say the keyword something related hyphen keywords underscore hyphen products or something like that back to directory go inside here and if you find closely then we can see that we have a file called related.php so what I will do press ctrl B go inside here and open up this file now inside this file we can see all about the class of related product section and inside this section we will have all the codes from this code means from this loop or by means of WooCommerce filters action hooks we are getting the products so what I will do let's say OWT custom theme save this change back to browser reload this page now if you hover on this related products as we can see that our custom class has been added so successfully guys inside this video we understood about each of the layout and templates inside WooCommerce in the next video we will see that when we click on this add to cart button then how can we see all about our cart page so inside this video session guys if you're in doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.